Okay, we're back in the uh, Haunted PS1 demo disc. This time we're gonna look at Insomnio, uh, throwing some Latin at us, I think. I think In Dreams is, uh, that is, a collection of five different experiences attempting to recreate my dreams as a game. Well, that sounds interesting, by uh, Jan Malashek. I think I pronounced that right, I'm not sure. Well, let's find out about their dreams. Okay, let's, dr let's dream see what we got going on number one train a dream about a train i don't know that i've ever had a dream where i was on a train i've been on trains lots but never in a dream interesting i never thought about that but i mean i wonder why that might be hmm maybe just haven't been on trains enough i don't know we can sit down hello friend friend with can i talk to you hey buddy I can control where this train is headed, you know. Cool. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a dream. You know, my mother once told me she carried these toothpicks for me. I've never had that strange of dreams. I've had a few, but I, I don't really remember them very well. Uh, but my mother once told me she had a dream where she was plunging candy out of a bathtub and it wouldn't stop overflowing with candy, so... There you go. Some people do have pretty wonky ones. This one looks pretty wonky as well. Um... Where... What did we had to go get toothpicks, it said? This is a dream about taking toothpicks through the woods. The woods are actually made of toothpicks, which is pretty incredible, actually. Uh, that somebody turned all these trees into toothpicks. Is this what it's like to have a very active imagination? You get to dream about crazy as toothpick woods? We've got a rock and a happy face here. Well, that's nice. Uh, now we're going to a hotel, okay. I'm on board. I have had dreams where I was at a hotel, frankly. None of the hotels look this nice, though, where we're in such a nice wooded area. Um, but that's because I have spent a lot of time in hotels, uh, more than I would like. Let's travel down. Actually, you know what? I remember having dreams as a kid, where, like a really young kid, where I would crawl into an area like this and get lost in like a never-ending maze of these crawling, like it would be like an old house, and I would just be crawling and crawling and crawling and finding new, new stuff, much more maze-like than this. And occasionally I'd find a new room, and it looked like a room from, like, 200 years ago. And then I'd try crawling my way back out, but I'd end up crawling into some new area. Um, somebody uh, m was making quite a lot of noise down in this hallway. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, let's see. So this is actually somebody was murdered in this room. Jeez. But this is, this is not... <laughs> Okay. This is haunted. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Dream number four. Trapped. Let's see what this one's all about. Trapped in a grate? This is weird. This is like a... Okay. This is interesting. I can't say that I've ever had a dream like this. That's for sure. Um, so it says trapped. Are we going to get like to the other end and there's like the same thing? You go back and there's nothing you can do? Maybe, maybe not. Let's go up these stairs. That's always fun. I really like the way this really looks and feels like an old uh, PlayStation game too, actually. A really high, this would be, a, oh, now we're trapped. Okay. You can't get off of this. Uh-oh. Uh Uh, is this, like, making noise? Is, is noise coming out of this pipe, maybe? Fascinating. We're still trapped on these stairs. Okay, that's, that's it. Uh, the last dream. Teeth. Oh, gosh, is this going to be the old teeth falling out dream? I can't say that I've ever had that, even though I have had to have work done on my teeth uh, because of issues when I was younger, which has never been pleasant, having to have work done on your teeth. 
but hopefully this isn't that dream because that always sounds like an awful dream uh, but like I said not one that I've ever experienced but a lot of people do have that you know what dream I usually have even though I haven't been in school for years and years and years I have a dream and apparently a lot of other people have this too and I hate this dream where you're sitting there and all of a sudden you realize you have a class you forgot to go to the entire time you were in the class and now it's at the end and everything is completely screwed up because you just forgot about a class you're like oh yeah I was in that wasn't I but I never went anyway uh, we appear to be in some sort of never-ending hallway are we walking on teeth maybe that would be gross. Oh, there's the teeth. Hi. <laughs> it's just clattering away. They're grinding. Ugh. Oh, grinding away. That's gross. Hmm. Quid significat. Maybe. Maybe not. Thank you. Jan Malishek. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing his name right or hers. But that was fun. Let's go ahead and wake up. So that was Insomnio. Uh, that was a fun little experience, just going through it. Very interesting. Uh, I love. I really liked their modeling. The game played very well, uh, and it was just interesting. It reminds me of uh, experiential type games, experimental and experiential, where you go through like experiences and they're experimental. Like uh, everybody talks about LSD Dream Simulator on the PS1, which is an import. Um, this definitely had some of that type of uh, stuff feel and vibe so liked this one a lot and you can download this yourself there'll be a link in the description as always thank you for watching